Humanity's progress from the 319-meter-tall Chrysler Building to the currently under construction and more than one-kilometer-tall Jetta Tower is simply unbelievable. This beautiful building, the Chrysler Building, is growing fast with a dream of becoming the tallest building in the world. However, near the Chrysler Building, another building is growing at a steady pace, the Empire State Building. The Chrysler Building achieved its dream but for only 13 weeks. Its neighbor, the Empire State Building, shattered this dream with an impressive 381 meter height. The design of the Empire State Building was modified 15 times throughout its construction, simply to beat the Chrysler Building. If you visited the office spaces of the Empire State Building, you might have seen these huge columns. The secret of the Empire State Building is these long columns. They're firmly connected to the foundation and reach to the sky without interruption. Glass and limestone panels are attached to this steel skeleton. This kind of design is known as the curtain wall design. There's a huge observatory on the 86th floor and another one on the 102nd floor. Interestingly, there's a balcony on the 103rd floor, but reaching it is difficult and getting permission to go there is even more difficult. From here, you can enjoy a huge portion of the New York City landscape. The architects of the Empire State Building gave it a thin, pencil-like shape so that spectators would call it a thin building. Obviously, you wouldn't call the building on the right a tall building. Instead, you would call it a wide building. The Empire State Building enjoyed the title of tallest building in the world for 40 years. However, all good things come to an end. The World Trade Center, obviously you know about this building, overtook this building by an impressive 36 meters. The secret behind the World Trade Center was its perimeter tube design. Here, all the supporting structures are located on the perimeter and core of the building. Can you tell the main advantage of this design? Yes, you're right. You'll get a lot of office space without any irritating columns. The office space in the World Trade Center sold out like hotcakes. However, the perimeter tube design turned out to be a villain on 9-11. For details about this, please watch the detailed video on the World Trade Center. The World Trade Center remained the tallest building for two years and four months. Then, the Sears Tower in Chicago dethroned it by 30 meters. The famous bundled tube was created during this project which marked the rise of an iconic architect, Mr. Fazlur Rahman Khan. In the Sears Tower, nine tubular buildings are bundled together to form a single building. With the rise in building height, the lateral force produced by the wind is the main villain. Of course, unity is strength. These nine bundled units resist wind quite efficiently and reduce the sway of the building. 25 years have passed, and in the city of Kuala Lumpur, a beautiful tower is rising. In 1998, the Petronas Towers officially overtook the Sears Tower. For the first time, the U.S. lost the coveted title of having the tallest building in the world. But wait, the Petronas Towers look shorter than the Sears Tower. Attach the spires, and still the Sears Tower is taller. Here's the official explanation. The Sears Tower's antenna is removable and hence cannot be considered part of the building. For the Petronas Towers, the rod is an integral part of the building. So, one should compare the Sears Tower without an antenna and the Petronas Towers with a rod. Obviously a crazy decision, but this is what happened. Now fast forward to 1999. A building with a peculiar shape is rising in the beautiful city of Taipei, Taiwan. It's called Taipei 101. Did you notice anything strange in this construction scene? Why are these main columns inclined? The columns must be inclined to fulfill the vision of the building's architect. The vision of the traditional pagoda shape. Interestingly, the columns are inclined only at the bottom. For the top portion, they achieved the pagoda shape with inclined glass facade work on straight columns. In 2004, Taipei 101 became the world's tallest building, with an impressive height of 510 meters. Did you notice a huge ball toward the top of the building? What is that for? 
This experiment you can even try at your home. Please count with me how many oscillation this system is able to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's still counting, I guess more than 10. But just attach this simple mass and the game changes forever. Let's count the number of oscillations of the new system. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The oscillations are dead. This is the magic of tune mass damper. Now let's compare both these oscillations side by side. On a day of heavy winds in Taipei, this building will oscillate. Similar to the experiment, the presence of the huge suspended ball on the building will dampen the building's oscillation to a huge extent. This technology is known as a tuned mass damper. It's the Taiwanese engineer's trick to reduce the sway of the building. Of course, nobody wants to stay in a building with high sway. You might have noticed that as the buildings become taller, their bases become wider. This is quite logical. A wider base provides greater support. Now comes the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. Given the wider base logic, the Burj should have a much bigger base. Can you tell the issue with this design? Yeah, you're right. The issue of natural sunlight. You can see that with this design, the inner 13 units get almost no sunlight. This question confused the chief engineer of the Burj Khalifa, Mr. Bill Baker. He had an interesting and clever solution, the shape of Dubai's lily flower. With this new shape, even with a wide base, natural sunlight enters almost all the units. Only a small central region does not get sunlight. Baker used this area to accommodate elevators. The Jeddah Tower, a skyscraper under construction in Saudi Arabia, is set to become the world's tallest building at more than one kilometer in height, surpassing the Burj Khalifa by 180 meters. Construction of the Jeddah Tower resumed in 2023 after a period of inactivity. In Jeddah Tower, you'll be able to reach your apartment by walking between these elevator passage walls. If you observe its design carefully, you'll see that the elevator passage walls are an important part of the Jeddah Tower's structural system. This kind of structural design is called a buttressed core, in which three wings flank a tight, hexagonal central core of high-performance concrete. With three wings arranged in a Y-shape, such a design will effectively resist wind load. Without these buttressed walls, the central core will sway a lot on a windy day, and catastrophe will follow. The way in which the floors are connected to the central core is also illustrated here. Interestingly, a similar three-buttressed core design is employed in the Burj Khalifa as well. The buttressed core concrete design is the most efficient design when one wants to achieve the height that humans once only hoped to achieve. The building technology evolved from curtain wall design in the Empire State Building to the most advanced core buttress system in the Burj Khalifa and the Jeddah Tower. Did you notice a beautiful protruding circular structure on Jeddah Tower? This is in fact an observation deck, obviously the tallest observation deck in the world, quite unique as well. This observation deck is protruding. You might have seen in other buildings the observation deck is within the building. What a beautiful view. I hope you enjoyed this video. You may be aware that this channel is surviving thanks to support of our Patreons. So before leaving this video, if you can support our channel, I'll be so grateful. Thank you for watching the video. Take care. Bye-bye.